actually pretty late and the baby is still sleeping um, I am gonna wake her up soon though because uh, I feel like it's a little too late but it's okay because I wanted to get my makeup done for the day I'm getting my nails done this morning finally after having them off for like two months and I think I'm gonna take Ariel to the Children's Museum um, we went there before and she wasn't walking yet but she did have, still have a lot of fun, so I think now that she's walking, she's going to have way more fun. Um, and I want to do something with her because I feel like we haven't done anything in a little while. And then later tonight, we're actually doing another thing for her. Um, it is something's going on at her swim school um, for like Halloween. So we're going to, oh no, literally clean this house top to bottom yesterday. Um, I literally ripped out this whole bathroom and cleaned the whole bathroom. It felt good to have a clean house and wake up to a nice clean house. <laughs> oh. Good morning, babies. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did you say hi? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. We got her a nugget for Christmas, but we ended up giving it to her early. <laughs> And you can see it already has stains on it. We love it. It actually came like that. Um, we're getting a new cover. They're sending us a new one. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah? You want to open the blinds? Let's open them. That's some light in here. What? This window's a little jack. Some moisture comes in all the time. Uh. Oh, there's grapes on the floor over here. Ariel, we love it. Yeah. Open this one. So we literally gave like <laughs> Yeah. This one does better. It's cute. And we also have like cute little things in the window my cousin made for Ariel to put in the window. But I put them higher so she doesn't rip them down. But um we made lots of changes to her playroom. Well area, corner, whatever you want to call it. Um, since the last video, because I remember the last video I posted, I did put, I did make, like I did put, I did put that I, like we did some updates, but, uh -oh. yeah, uh oh, but we did like major updates, um, a lot of stuff has changed. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, yeah. But she doesn't like to eat as soon as she wakes up. So I'm gonna let her play for a little bit while I do cook her. 
breakfast and myself because I'm hungry. Um, I'm probably going to have just some avocado toast. She doesn't like avocados anymore, which makes me really sad. So we can't enjoy avocado toast together anymore. But I'll probably make her either a bagel or pancakes. I'm not sure, but I will show you guys the playroom and like all of the updates and the changes we made probably later on in this video because I was going to do a, yeah, yeah. I... usually I clean before we go to bed. I'm talking about so many different things right now. Usually I clean before I go to bed, which I did, but I was really so exhausted because I had stayed up until 1am the night before because I cleaned the whole house. So, there's still grapes all over the floor that she had last night for a snack. But, anyway, I was going to do a update, a one-year update for her because she's one. Um, but, I decided that I'm actually going to hold off on that and I'm going to have that be my next video. Because I'm going to just do a sit-down one-year update with her because I'm also going to do a one-year postpartum update. A separate video on that, we're going to talk about both of those things. So, yeah. She just loves standing at the window. What did you find? Thank you. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, let's not. Come on, let's go play. She has a pumpkin. She has actually two, but she painted one already and it's out by the door. I was there. My kitchen has like horrible light. And you're like sitting right in the window. I'm just gonna put you in my freezer because why the heck not? Um these are her all-time favorite. The toaster sticks. And then I did just recently get her these. They're just Mickey waffles. Cause they're cute. But, what do you want? I usually have her pick. Do you want French toast sticks or pancakes? Pancakes? Okay. It's so cute watching her like be able to pick. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you have kids, um, let them help you pick out anything. It could be their food. Let them be independent. Let them do, let them pick out their stuff because it makes them so happy. And as they get older, they'll be able to do more independent stuff like that and like be confident about it. It'll boost their confidence. Whenever I can, I let her pick um, even if you pick out stuff that you want to do, but pick out like two or three things and let them pick. So, so I'm making avocado toast for myself right now and I'm squishing the avocado and it just like is so gross. But it reminds me of when she was a baby because this is what I used to do. I used to make most of her purees. And when she was a newborn, well, not a newborn, when she was like, you know, five months old, avocado was her favorite, like, thing. And now it's just crazy that it's really not anymore and she doesn't even eat it. So, it just makes me sad. But, it's funny because you, I used to just not even, like, mush it up like this. Um, I used to just, like, put the slices on my toast and eat it just like that. But... It makes so many more slices and it just is so much easier. I mean, yes, it's an extra step, but. And done. I always top mine off with um, some pepper. Not that it really makes a huge difference, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse you. I have these granola bars in a bag out there and she always goes and gets them. Her face is dirty, ignore that. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so change of plans because they don't have any room 
until 12.30. So, I don't know what this car is doing. I don't know what this car is doing. There's so many cars doing so many things. <laughs> Mechanicville, if you live in Mechanicville or know anything about Mechanicville, drive through Mechanicville, you know Mechanicville is stupid right now because nobody knows how to pave the roads. But anyway, <laughs> um, can't get my nails done right now, so I got my coffee that I just spilled all over myself and the car. And I got gas and I put air in my tire because my one tire is just annoying and effed up right now. So I did all that so I don't have to worry about doing that after. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out with my mom's for, it's not, it's like barely even gonna be an hour. So um, I'm just gonna hang out there. Ariel has to do her project anyways, her little canvas thing. We always do a little canvas thing and I love it, it's so cute. So she's gonna do that, just gonna hang out there. I'm gonna get my nails done and then she's actually gonna take a nap at my mom's house because she's already gonna be there and I don't wanna like mess up her schedule or anything. So, and then after we're gonna go to the children's museum because it's just, it's way smarter to do that than to just go now because the children's museum closes at 12 to one for lunch. So it'll just be stupid to like do that now and then just go get my nails done later. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Got my nails done. Of course, I literally, I always have to look to make sure nobody's watching me. I literally just got white because it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about white. I love white because they just make me feel better about myself. I love them, but I did an almond shape. They look cute. Don't know how I feel about it. I wanted to try something different because they're not like super <laughs> sharp or anything. So, but I haven't had them done in like two months. So I have to get used to it, but we are done. So I think the baby might still be napping, but after she wakes up, cause she should be waking up any, any minute now. So after she wakes up, then we're gonna go to the children's museum. So I will see you guys when I get her. It's so cute, I love it. Her little feet. Love it. Now we can add it to my other collection that's on the walls. Are you ready to go play? <laughs> 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 Come on in. Because it's quiet time sensory nook. Good job. And do it again.
I guess it's like a perfect time. Because we got it in the mail. Oh my God. But anyway, we're home. I'm gonna cook dinner. We don't have to leave here for another like, we don't have to leave here for like another like, two hours, so. Now to cover, this will just be a backup one. Cause I'm still gonna use the one that she has. Yes, it's stained, but whatever. <laughs> Little Missy just ate. She had mac and cheese and I forgot what else. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. But clearly it's out because she's wearing it. Watching Moana, of course. But we're going to get her in the bath. Yeah. <laughs> Is it funny? Yes. Is it funny? Look at mama. Say cheese. <laughs> cheese. No, I gotta cover you. Say cheese. <laughs> so, Ariel's in the bath. I'm sitting on the floor. Um, but we're not going tonight anymore because um, I called them and apparently you were supposed to let them know like weeks in advance that you were coming swimming, which I didn't know that. And it didn't say it on the flyer either that you had to let them know. So they're at max capacity, which I'm a little pissed off about because I pay a lot of money every month for her to swim there and take swim lessons there. And she can't even go and enjoy the party that they're putting on because they're at max capacity. Yeah, I'm just annoyed. I'm really annoyed because I'm not going to go there and pay $5 because it's $5 to get in, which it's not a big deal. $5, I don't really give a crap about, but it's the fact that there's activities there that she's really not gonna be able to do because they're like for older kid activities and she can't go swimming so it's like i'm gonna go there and pay five dollars for what for her to sit there and watch everybody else swim no thanks so we're going gonna we're gonna go to a trunk or treat on sunday and let her enjoy that because where we're going there's like pony rides and like other activities and stuff there so but yeah so that's why she's in the bath because we're not going anymore. And she's like drinking. It's kind of gross, but she's using the whale pail that we used to like dump the water over her head. <laughs> and she's like pretending to drink the water. I don't know if I can show you guys without like trying to, to like show her. Like, how do I do this? <laughs> That's gross. So like, I honestly don't even really remember like what's like what I put in the last vlog about her play corner. Um, I don't even remember like what I told you guys, but if I didn't tell you, we started her toy rotation uh, last week or the week before. Um, and it's been going, it's been going good. It's been going a lot easier cleaning up at night because there's not 50 million toys on the floor. And she's been a lot more interested in like specific toys than like nothing because she has so much. Um, I do have to like figure out a good, good toy rotation storage because the way it is right now is all just chucked in her toy box, that big pink uh, box that's in her room. It's kind of just all thrown in there. I want to get a better system going and like put them all in like specific categories so it's like a lot easier rotating but I ended up rearranging this whole living room corner but then we got the nugget and it's a lot bigger than I thought if you get the nugget it is a lot bigger than you probably think um so how where I was gonna put it, it just didn't fit and it didn't look right. So I just had to rearrange the whole living room back the way it originally was because what I showed you guys in the last video is how it is right now, but it had swapped. So like the cubicle was on this side and the kitchen was on this side, which I really, really liked. But like I said, it just wasn't working out the way I needed it to, if that makes sense. Um, and it just didn't look right. So we put it back. I will do a quick little run through because you guys already really know what it looks like. 
um because it hasn't really changed but our nugget is right here the mirror is over there now which i don't like this used to be over on this side not really feeling it might move it but that's how it is now because this nugget is so big um her bookshelf right here <laughs> And then her kitchen right here. Um, I do plan on getting like rid of this bucket and putting all the food inside of it so it looks a little nicer. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of that because I don't like it and she doesn't even play with it. So I'm gonna move the kitchen down a little bit. And then there's gonna be like a cute little thing hanging right here for like all of her purses and like her play dress up because I thought that would be super cute. These pictures up here are gonna be moved actually so they're not gonna be here so I'm gonna be able to put something like more kid friendly up there and then this hasn't really changed since the last time you guys seen it but it did, the toys in it has changed because we rotated so we have stacking toys blocks puzzle um like dolls we have in this basket is just like this weird like thing that she can put stuff in and take stuff out the lock system music and then in this one is this box that you guys have seen before i had the i had the carrots on it but she mastered it so now we are on to the coins that's all over the floor we have the hippo which i'm actually gonna put away and then on the top this is her sensory bin and then these uh she doesn't play with them yet because they are so small but i don't really know where to put them and then these you guys have seen before they actually used to be hanging up on the wall but i took them down and I laminated them, so obviously shouldn't ruin them. But they just have the weather um, number, shapes, alphabet, stuff that we can like do together and go over with together. And then these I just put up here because of her Scentsy Buddies, and I don't want her to get ruined. These are new. My mom actually just got them for her. They're just like books. They're not always up here. But then I plan on putting three um, hanging canvas thingies. I'll put a picture right here of what they look like. But I plan on putting them there, um, and then I plan on plan on putting a rug down too. But that's really it. Not a lot of changes, but some major changes. I don't really know. Um, there's still a, little, uh, a couple things that we have to get for it to make it feel playish. Don't ask me where we're putting our Christmas tree because I have no idea. <laughs> have no idea because the Christmas tree was right here where the nugget is we might for christmas have to put the nugget up like not as a couch because you can move the nugget like and make it look like all different sorts of things so we might just have to get a smaller christmas tree and just put the nugget up not in couch form um during christmas time so that we can have a tree or this might possibly be moved i don't like i said before i don't like it there i, I don't know what it is about it i don't like it there but there's really nowhere else in my house to put it. Well, on that note, <laughs> I'm ending today's vlog. Okay, you don't have a shirt on though, babe. Okay, you can say bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.